McLaren started as the dream of one man, Bruce McLaren, who once stated, life is measured in achievement, not in years alone. McLaren is the second oldest active Formula One team and has won 182 races, 12 drivers' championships and eight constructors' championships. The dream is now shared and pursued by over 2,000 staff with the hopes of millions of fans resting on their shoulders. So I'm here at the McLaren Technology Center and you can really sense not only the history that McLaren has in motor racing, but also the kind of absolute dedicated passion they have for building these amazing cars. I mean, right back to this one. Bruce McLaren started his motor racing career in this when he was 15 years old. It's a racing Austin 7. Look, it's got a racing exhaust pipe. That is beautiful. Everywhere you look, there's these incredibly iconic cars. I mean, it's such an extraordinary building. It's the most incredible place to come into. It's quite hushed. Everybody's very focused on designing the absolute best cars you possibly can. These are all very famous Formula One cars. Every driver that's driven these you'll have heard of. Alain Prost, 1985. And this one is very special. This is Ayrton Senna's 1988 Formula One car. And it won the Constructors World Championship quite simply because out of 16 races that it entered, it won 15 of them. McLaren has designed and built the motor, transmission and electronics used by all the cars in the FIA Formula E race series. Today, I've been invited to meet the Vice President of McLaren Applied Technologies, Peter Van Manen. So Peter, I'm really fascinated that you've made the, the leap from the Formula One car to getting involved in Formula E. One of the things that we do strive for at McLaren and always have done is we like uh, doing things which are difficult and, and sort of push the envelope with Formula E. They came to us because we had developed an electric motor, motor controller for our P1 road car. Yes, yeah. And so the opportunity was very timely to be able to take a, uh, a piece of equipment that had been developed for a high performance car and move it into open wheel racing. Right. We've, we've had to deliver a, a powertrain in uh, less than two years from uh, the idea to actually delivering cars, you can only do that if, you, if, if you've got that character, yep. that, that passion about doing things right. Putting a racing series in the middle of cities is just the right thing to do. I've got a lot of time for the organisers yep. and promoters. I think that Motorsport has done quite a lot to actually promote uh, the, the fun side of electric vehicles. Yeah. I think we've seen it at the beginning of this year with Formula One, uh, how you can take a third of your fuel consumption yeah. out with yeah. a hybrid motor. Yeah. And Formula E is another step in this, yeah. in saying, you know what, electric vehicles are responsible, but they can also be fun to drive. Excellence is in McLaren's DNA, and they are not only a world-renowned sporting force, but also a byword for innovation and superlative technical excellence. That passion is now being applied to Formula E, starting September, Beijing.